administrator can be charged with this, 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 this. Well, of course, you know, you don't want to negotiate, but then you have to deal with, um, if it's a long trial and you have witnesses involved, people that don't understand domestic violence, um, or if you have a, you know, you can't go into that they're a repeat offender to help your case, there's layers and layers of may have, that's the only way I can describe it, and to, and to be brought into this, all the different laws as a survivor and a victim, which I'd like you to state from here on in, because tomorrow my victim statement, although the courts deem it a victim statement, I'm going to have the record show that it's a survivor statement, um, and that's powerful, because if people don't start speaking up and causing awareness, we stay in that victim state, and then you give those horrible people, stalkers, whatever we want to call them, then we give them power, still, whether you live in fear, or you know, you hide, or you don't want to talk about it, you don't know how long your sentence is. Um, so, plea bargains, you know, there's no repeat offender, you know, if a plea comes in, it doesn't matter if they've done it before, it doesn't matter. And in a new case, if there's a trial, you can't bring it up or it'll be a mistrial because they have prisoner rights because they've already served time. And I don't know who originally made that, but I'd like to meet him, <laughs> have lunch with him, ask him a few questions. So this, this is the beginning, I hope, of many, many discussions to come and changes to come for not just my children, but generations down the road, because not much has changed in you know, 